Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you are creating indexes, you want to try and use field values that will identify each record in your database as uniquely as possible. If you are a good database designer, there will already be a single field in your table that already does this, your primary key field. However, you can create additional indexes on other fields to use in queries for faster query processing. To create an index, open up the table which you would like to index in Table Design View. Then click the Indexes button in the Show Hide group on the Design tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to show the Indexes dialog box. Click into the Next Available Row under the Index Name column and type in a name for your new index. To the right, click into the Field Name column and select the name of the field within the table which you wish to index. To the right of that, select whether that field should be sorted in ascending A to Z or 1 to 9 order, or descending Z to A 9 to 1 order. In the Index Properties section at the bottom of the dialog box, you have three drop-down text boxes into which you can set the properties of the index. The first property is primary and can accept either a yes or no value. Whatever index is the primary key of the table will show yes for this property and all the others will show no because there can only be one primary key field within a table. The next property, Unique, asks if the values within the field will always be unique, like the values in a primary key field are. Once again, you can select either yes or no as appropriate. You can then also set the Ignore Nulls property to yes or no to either include or exclude null or empty values from the sorting. Nulls occur when there has been no data entry in the field for a record. So for example, if you skipped entering an address into a customer record, the address field would contain a null value. It is not equivalent to zero, as zero is still a value. Null is simply unknown. Now when you finished creating the index, you can close the index's dialog box. Then click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar to save your structural modifications to the table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.